Calling all musical beings, all singers, musicians, rappers and tap dancers. Calling poets, podcasters and people that make interesting mouth noises. Fans over followers, collaboration over competition, love over hate. Tell a friend, tell your mama and tell your cousins too. Song Lab Live is back baby. My name is Earl Alex, aka Cav Ticket, prolific, and we are here. Another Song Lab pull up, another Song Lab interview, and of course, you know, I'm sitting in this chair. Across from me is gonna be another guest, another artist that you need to get to know, another person that is making creative efforts in the game that you should just be checking out. So, right now, I'm gonna go ahead let him introduce himself he's also going to tell you about his social medias how to catch up with him and all of that and then we're going to get into some questions we're going to talk a little bit we're going to chat and find out what he got going on first get to know who he is let's move to the other side of the table who do we got with us here today at song lab thank you very much my name is anthony harding aka a Tuesday. Nice. you can actually find me everywhere on all social medias all kind of any kind of platform actually a t u z i my corny face will pop up somewhere. Instagram, it's a Tuesday official. Facebook, it's Anthony A. Tuesday Harding. A Tuesday official is a page, but I'm there. Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. Wherever you want to go. Nice. Nice. So, legitly, you are doing music in Arizona. But yeah. You, 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 what, what have you done so far? Like, like, go ahead and give them like a bit of the backstory of your you know, of your journey, but then also I got a few questions for you because I heard a bit of music and we have some stuff to show, so go ahead and let them know. Introduce so a little bit of backstory as to, like, you know, how I started or what I've done thus far. What you've done this far, uh, how you started. Okay. I want to ask some questions about how you started, but right now what what you've done thus far. Okay. Start. Thus far, I mean, I started January 7th of 2020, so okay. I'm coming up on my second year here. Yeah. And, I mean, dude, it's been a lot better than I originally would have thought. <laughs> so my first week, I released Cliche. I had a buddy of mine that was out in Colorado, and he was working with some radio station, 87.9, I think it was, yeah. FM. It got me on the radio. I actually had a friend of mine that was out in Colorado, and she heard it and recorded it and sent it to me. And I was like, oh, my God, like, I know it's you. Like, you showed me the song even before it was released. So okay. first few weeks in, I got my first radio play. I thought it was crazy. Wow. But it doesn't mean anything now. Like back in the day, you know, when, when I was growing up, you know, you getting on the radio, you getting paid. Big. Now it's a little different. Yeah. So I just did that. I made my first EP, six songs in total. And uh, hey, man, trying to do what I can. I have four songs already recorded I haven't released yet, but wow. trying to plan and work that around the Happy Hip Hop Fest that'll be coming up August 27th. Okay. So what was the last thing that you released? The last thing that I released was the EP. Okay. That was the very last one. So it was the finishing songs, Virtue Signaling and Coffee. So Coffee is the very, very last song that I ever released. But like I said, I have those other songs ready to go. I've actually already contacted someone about releasing a song called Maybe We. I have okay. a song cover that's coming out. Really great idea that me and a friend are trying to come up with. And we got it worked out. So what it sounds like to me is that you're passionate about making the music and you have messages that you want to get out. Songs kind of sound like, you know, the, the naming sounds intentional, especially when I was hearing the song cliche. That was the first one that I heard. And I seen how you used it and you twisted it and you were talking about things. You're, exactly. And, but that was from the jump. So, so go ahead, like, give me a little bit about, you know, your process. Cause you got a song called coffee which is like, okay, what, 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 what is this? Exactly, exactly. I feel you. So my whole thing is I try to take from a lot of my past experience. I try to do recent ones, like current situations. It's really muddled. So what I do is if I get an idea from something that's current is, you know, I'll write the idea down. Nice. Think about it. Or if I'm listening to a beat and I'm like, you know, that idea would go great with this beat. I love this beat. I think it would go good. I start writing, then I catch myself and I say, wait, think back. What's happened in your past that you could actually attach something 
feel that you, you know, went through, it happened, you learn. Yeah. Because right now, it's either living through or happened. You haven't necessarily learned quite yet. You know what I mean? I've always been taught or I've found out in life is that you learn your lessons after the mistake. A little while after. But if you try to act in the emotion, like, for instance, let's say, you know, you go to a party and your homie does something that you don't like. Then you go home and you write a song about whooping someone's ass and then you release it. And then you're like, okay, so that's not really me. But that's not me as an artist. I wouldn't make a song like that. That's just the kind of guy that I am. Yeah. But I would have acted in anger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why. So I take some time. So it seems like you draw from your life experiences to now create these messages, create these songs, and then you also name them artistically. I love that. I mean, Thank of you. course, this is all, it's a creative game. Yeah. That, that, that we're not only playing, but we're using to bring you guys into what, our world, right? Yeah. To show them what we have on the inside, bring it to the outside pretty much, but then connect people who are willing to listen. Yeah. And in that attempt, what, age you want to start so you've been doing this for two years but what really spurred you to get going so i i honestly have to say it was tupac like nice listening <laughs> listening to him poetically oh. man and listening to the stories that you, you can really like, catch like feel the vibe from his music yeah. you can't find that anymore it just doesn't happen like, you can't yeah. if you listen to something sappy or something like that but hip-hop or rap doesn't happen no more so when you I heard that for the first time. I was like, I need to do this. Then everyone told me, what are you thinking? Eminem, he's the last one. Like, yeah. it's not going to happen. Like, you're not going to make it. You're white. You can't do rap. You can't do hip hop. You, really? Can people you sing? saying that? Of course. I mean, this is now not the truth, but even when I was really young, my grandmother told me, she said, you know, it's a pipe dream. You want to hope that it could happen. You don't want to focus on it. And I wish I would have focused on it, but I stopped. I just did poetry. I just wrote down, you know, my little poems and stuff like that. And a bar I, here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I started freestyle. Yeah. With like, I've seen groups out in the courtyard, you know, during middle school or whatever. And normally it was a bunch of the black cats. And I don't yeah. typically get along with Kim Folk. It's not a problem. Yeah. So I walked up and I was like, hey, man, you know, let me try it out. Yeah. Immediately they hate. Or they try to sp like spit somebody else's bar, say some shit that 50 <laughs> cent row or say some shit. Yeah. That, you know, and, like, it's so funny because they thought I wouldn't know. Yeah. And I just practiced it. Yeah. Because I met this girl. And, you know, me and her got into a relationship trying to start a family, do whatever, get married. And artists don't really make a lot of money. So, you know, she kept telling me, she's like, I want you to do it. But, you know, we got this to do. We got this. We got this. So I focused on her. Yeah. Things didn't work out. Uh, that is the story for a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah. Uh, relationships. Things didn't work out. Yeah, she... <laughs> So she, she chose to move on and do her own little thing. Yeah. And, I mean, I said, fuck it. You know? I'm going to do something. Uh, yeah. Two days before my birthday, I was like, you know, I'm going to release this song that I wrote like six months prior. Yeah. I was like, you know, I really want to do it. And I did it. And then I thought to myself, I was like, okay, how do I stop myself from being like, you know what, maybe I don't want to do it. I was yeah. like, you know, I'm going to record another one. And another one. I'm going to change my fucking license plate to a 2 I'm going to hey. fucking make sure every like, this is now me. This yeah, is, and it's what's going to happen. There you go. Notice with that. Now I take a lot longer. I want, <laughs> I want that shit to be like good because I could have released these four songs already, but I want either a music video or a really good cover art, or you know, some songs I've kind of thought maybe I want to spend another fifty dollars an hour, go back in and re-record some parts of it, like and, and you know. And I think that's a dedication to rap. Like after you get going first get a little taste of it right you're like all right i think i can do this well i know i can do this so let me do this let me try it but then you see that not only is it a little fun a little it allows me to release it's kind of cathargic yeah but it's like it's it's a whole nother realm you could step into it's a it's a it it, it becomes like you said you become it. It becomes you. Yeah. It is you. You know. You you changed your license plate. You made moves into making it permanent and committing to to doing this. So, since doing that and really working out here in Arizona, what has been like the number one thing that has stand out so stood out so far in your journey about 
I guess, the music scene out here in Arizona? So, it's at first a little, eh, a little wonky. So there's the strong community. Yeah. But the community is very close. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they've worked with cats all these years. they work with cats that think that they're the best. they work with cats that are this or that. And I've reached out to a bunch of people. I've said, hey, man, you know, I'm, like, I have this song. I have a good idea. Yeah. You want to work? Oh, I want $500. Huh? Hey, <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, come on, doc. Like, there's like maybe Merkums or Joseph Bills. Like, okay, sure. Yeah. 500 bucks. Yeah, sure. I got you. But huh. for someone that no one knows, like someone that I know for a fact doesn't like no one talks about, like, I mean, it's weird. I've even offered people straight up legit deals. Like, okay, 50 50% in perpetuity for all sales across the board. You and I split recording costs and we'll work out a song. No. Huh? Why? Because I, you got to pay me to be on your track. You know, these words are worth something. Yeah. So I'll go in half with you. Yeah. Let's split the profits. If you think it's going to be that good, I think it's going to be that good. Yeah. Let's do it. Nah, man. Like nine out of ten times, motherfuckers don't want to do shit. And I'm like, okay, so maybe it's me. But then I have cats act listen to music, and they're like, nah, bro. I mean, I could have pretty got, pretty much got it. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I think, what well, well, I think that it is tough to for collaborations to happen when you know, people are always looking to see you know everything up front and are unwilling to kind of good collaborative efforts happen. Like yeah, you know, if people are just not willing, but then everybody's kind of like that in a sense. Like this, you know. This is Arizona, not Texas, but it's still the show me state in the su- in some yeah, ways. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, like you got to show yeah. me because there are a lot of um, people who are fly by night out here, right? Yeah. Um. So I think that yeah, that is an issue. It it is a big issue. People should be more willing to work, and as you work, you know, your work will sell. Exactly. People, it's it's known in the game. A lot of people say Tupac. Tupac was pretty much recording with everyone inside and outside of the, his label and when he, he would go to house parties and just and end up at the homie studio and just recording in california just do like, it just doing it yeah um for love of the music yeah so he has a lot of music out there that people have never heard yeah a lot of music out there. so i mean that's one way of doing it and other people feel differently about their artistry so I'm not shaming anybody's game but i do understand that there isn't it, it's tough to collaborate in this current market but that's why we do what we do here at song lab we're trying to bring people together we're trying to we're trying to help ease the pain um but with that you not only took the uh, uh let's just say everything that you had going on in your life at the time and then relationship changed you know the dynamics of everything going on started doing music you know you've been getting good traction ever since you started where do you see the trajectory what are you aiming for now what is the next thing on a2z's list so my biggest thing that i want right now is to get my next album out i'm not really sure exactly what i want to do but i have these next three songs that i want to drop and one of the fourth song that I have could potentially be uh, the beginning of something totally different. I stepped my foot into Christian rap. Nice. Yeah, and I mean, it's not what's going to sell, but it's something that I want to do. Yeah. So, I mean, possible that I could do that maybe soon or in the future. Now, I have a couple of other songs that I already have written but not recorded that I'm already considering putting into the next album, whichever album it may be. Nice. But with it traction and everything that's going honestly what i want from it is i just want to be able to make music and afford to make music off of is because i just want to you know i work 55 plus hours a week i just tried to make and i mean i, I work there all the time like, hey, hey, all hey, hey let's take a quick second <laughs> to shout out my man's extracurricular activities <laughs> he came through today not only to bless us with his presence but he also blessed us with a couple boxes of pizza and 
He brought you tissues, homie. <laughs> we wasn't eating with just our hands. <laughs> so the dude got class. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Nah, that's awesome, man. That's straight up honor. Like, he, he fed us. He fed us. <laughs> well, my biggest thing was I appreciate the opportunity to be able to come and, you know, talk at all. Because most cats kind of talk nowadays. Yeah. That's another big thing. You know, like, it, it'd be good to be able to hang out and be able to chill with the local artists because, I mean, we all together. You're not perfect. I'm no. definitely not perfect. Not perfect. But, I mean, groups of people have came together and they've, they've made things happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't take perfection. It takes consistency, determination, diligence. It takes all those good things. What, Jay-Z was either almost or at 30 when he finally made it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, he's still going. Dude can release a record now. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really doesn't matter once you hit a certain... Echelon. Of, yeah, yeah, a certain level, I would say, like, you know, you know, Willie Nelson, right? You yeah, know? I tell you. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Aerosmith. <laughs> you know, what are you going to... You're going to stop those guys? Yeah. But let me ask you, with, you know, there being issues in Arizona collaborating with artists, what has been favorite collaborating? Like what are on the other on um, have you seen the other side? Have you seen I have. good collaboration? So what have been your some of your favorite moments? Go ahead and share. Some. So I unfortunately was not able to attend, but there was a young woman at a pretty bad battle and lost it. Dude. To see how much that the entire community came together at her like her candle lighting ceremony and then her celebration of life. It was huge. And then can't even say that. Uh I was uh protesting after everything happened with, you know, uh I can't think of the name now all of a sudden. Um he was saying I can't breathe. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh not George. Uh, George Floyd, no, it was George Floyd. George Floyd, but then there was there was Brown. Yeah, there was another there was a couple, lot more. So downtown Phoenix, man, I'm out there marching Saturday night, and dude, I met like three artists from out here. They're out there, and it didn't matter what color they were, Mexican, black, or white. We all hugged. We all were just there to just do our thing, dude. Man, this community is filled with good people, but it's just you know once you get to a certain point, you ain't trying to let the so, Little fools, yeah. This is my second show I'm ever gonna have. First, it was the Arizona uh, Winter Hip Hop Festival. Now it's wow. the Tempe Hip Hop Fest. So, I mean, I need to have more credible stuff on my back. If I try to name drop and say, "Oh, I I know Bougie," like Bougie got me in the studio and had me record awesome. first song at a you know Bougie that no like know him know him like but oh, yeah. everything happened and when my workout partner we, <laughs> go to, we go to the gym Monday Wednesdays and Fridays. <laughs> When when everything happened to him, man, it was it was heartbreaking. Yeah, that I'd was been, tough for me too. Trust. I'd been to his house. I'd seen I've been to yeah. SB's house. I'd seen the J collection. I heard yeah. Jay's even got taken. Like it was stupid. crazy. Oh. And I mean, I don't want to name drop. I'm not going to do that. It's not me. Oh. At the same time, yeah. if you're you know making your moves and you're trying to come, you're trying to do your thing. Why would you take the time to sit there? Well, the thing about it is, is even then, like I first met I Rock when I was 19. I'm yeah. here now. You know. It's it's more like it's not necessarily great minds think alike, but great minds gravitate. Yeah, I feel you on that. You get what I'm saying? So when you're brown people, you find the greatness around. So you you're in good company. Ah, awesome, man. No, I feel <laughs> like I am. I feel like I'm in good company. Real talk, like you really are. So with that and. It just sucks that you haven't been to one of the Song Lab live events yet, because I feel like you would then benefit from seeing the way we collaborate and how everything kind of comes together and how artists are just really there to work with each other and to share in this moment. Um, but hopefully, as people get more yeah. introduced to you and see yeah. you rocking, first of all, like you said, your first show was the Arizona Music Festival, and now you're doing another music festival. So you're rocking at festivals. You're not just doing open mics. Oh, um, you know, maybe I should, but <laughs> I haven't been. No, nah, you're killing it. You're going for the gold, and that's what it's supposed to be. Hold yourself to the standards that you set. You know what I mean? That's true. That's 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 all it is. I see you doing it. So 
hey, yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep watching for you. You know, that's how that's how we do here. We yeah. we're, we're here to uplift, here to collaborate, here to network with you. And as you're on your journey of releasing your music or anything that you're doing next, let us know so we can help you and partner in the. Thank you. I will definitely. This is all on camera. You can hold us to it. <laughs> <laughs> so so other than that, let's talk about what's going on with visual. You said you have none yet. You know it's 2022, you know. and it's an important thing. Where we at with it? Why, why are you feeling about it? Is there anything coming up in the future? So, I actually was planning on doing it. But I have this this festival going, so I'll wait to have this. Wait to this. Uh, my hair, typically, is not always as long. <laughs> All but, right. Uh, the song is a Christian rap song. And it's titled Rebirth. When everything happened and everything changed my life, uh, probably that. I'm giving myself to a higher power. And, I mean, I used to fucking homeless. Be yeah. Just drink all day. When I woke up, I'd go buy a large coffee at McDonald's and get a tall can. <laughs> Take a sip of the tall can and a sip. I don't need to say it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I used yeah. to do it every day. And shit happened. My house broke down because I was living out of my car. Yeah. And I had to make a difference, make a change. A couple months later, I just kept drinking, kept drinking, walked into a church. And not believe, not believe how fast my life changed. Oh. December 3rd of 2019, the day my car broke down. And from there to now, I'm me. I'm here, <laughs> I'm in the car, I'm doing my music, yeah. I'm living in my own spot. Like, it, it feels really good. Awesome, man. That's a, that's a real motivational story, honestly. And that's why I want the music video to be about it. So I want to kind of show, you know, me straggly hair, all, all dusty and all kind of messed up. Oh, yeah, don't cut your shit. Uh, this shit, this shit, she grow right now, and I they cut just, it in the middle of the. I'm not gonna lie, I just cut it just because it's getting too. It was too much. It's too hot. It's too hot. I man. work in front of a 500 degree oven all day. It's just too <laughs> hot, man. So I had to cut it off. Man. And you got a mane, and your hair's coming down to here. You got to cut that off. And you manage it. <laughs> this guy manager, yo, <laughs> hey ladies, he ain't just he ain't just in front of the oven just talking about, <laughs> hey, what's up with the heat? He managing the temperature. <laughs> he gets to touch the dot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No one gets to touch. No the one gets to touch the dials with this man here. <laughs> hey man, it's light work. You feel me? Nah, man, it's it's good. Like I think people also um downplay the journey coming up and the things we got to do because it's all real life. Oh right? yeah. Everything that we do, and it's like, what do you, what, what, what? The only difference is that you have the courage with everything that happened in the past to also pursue your passion. That's the only difference. Well, plus, it does then grant you greater in life because you're willing to take those risks. So you can say, okay, there's some great. Yeah. We're all out here. Yeah. So I don't, I, trust me, you working, I'm working. I came uh, off my job to come here and do this. Uh, <laughs> trust me, this is what it is. We live in a life and this is, we're blessed. We're, we're 100% blessed. Yeah. You know, and that and that's the glory of it. Like, you know, you, you, from, from 2019 to now, you know? Not long either. <laughs> it's that was not, pretty quick. And I, it's pretty quick. That's, I, I, I could have done it alone. And, and that's wonderful. So you got visuals coming. I know people are going to be definitely excited about that. You have a festival. Can you go ahead and shout out the show that you're going to be doing next? Let people know how they can see you, how they can catch up with you in person. Yeah, definitely. So I'm doing the Tempe uh, Hip Hop Festival on August 27th. Uh, it'll be brand by RTU, sponsored by, uh, I think it was Herb Organics or True Med. Nice. So we, we, we got some pretty good stuff going on for them. There's Tons of artists that are going to be performing. It's from like 12 to like 8 or 9 o'clock. I'm going to be getting on stage in between 5 and 7. So I'm on the main stage, one of the premier artists. Nice. already did an interview with Justice. And I mean, it's it's going to be really good. I'm going to be actually exposing my newest song, Throw It In The Air, that I basically recorded for the show. I don't like making songs about ass, pussy, guns, and drugs. But <laughs> I mean, sometimes that's what sells, especially in a club. So I decided, yeah. why not yeah. make a song about it? <laughs> why not at least give them one why not you know um okay that's awesome and you said the next song that you're most likely to release what's the name of that maybe we maybe we 
be on the lookout for A2Z. Maybe we in the nearby future. Right now, I want them to get introduced to what you got out right now. Okay. To what you have right now. Because I think think if I if I go ahead and hook up this little uh computer right here, I can pull up a video. He got music out. You can find him on all platforms. Go ahead and shout it out. Let him know if you don't mind real quick. Let oh. him know. All platforms. Right now, we're sitting at about 121 monthly listeners on Spotify. So not too much, but it's going up. I think I have uh, 52 on Apple Music. So 52 people that follow me. I don't have a lot of followers on YouTube, but I'm on YouTube, Deezer, iHeartRadio, Pandora, wherever you find music. You just search up A-T-U-Z-I. There you go. (laughs) This man right here, that's who you be finding. I'm going to go ahead and first off, Let's go ahead and uh, show them. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pull up. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show them the uh, uh, flyer to his event a little later. Uh, but first, I want to show the music. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that. That's a secret. Secret. Hey, I can't show that. Uh, no, That's I'm on your Instagram. No, I'm kidding, play. I'm it's kidding. I'm kidding. There we go. There we go. We getting to. <laughs> we getting to the. Uh, he said, what? Yeah. He said, what? I like it's all the Instagram. You setting me up or you setting yourself up? What you doing? All right, so we're going to go ahead and play this here. Uh, let me go ahead and bring in audio from. Top my coffee. I like the way we talk it. Wondering if we will keep to the walkie or leaving something cold, bitter, and chalky. My head's a little blocky, but for some reason that don't stop me from trying everything to get to that hottie feeling. Tell me we just didn't, but if you could grab the wheel, then just stop reeling. It's a funny feeling when the time that you can and don't need the blood spinning, just laughing like we were children. Okay, we're gonna do the restart. Look at the restart. That is, yeah, you can always make the edits. That's awesome. Maybe it's something, and I would never know. Okay. Wait a minute, I could have had chips in here this whole time. What? <laughs> you hit them in the corner. <laughs> I love chips. That's why I'm good. <laughs> Apparently you love pizza. You me? <laughs> Don't hate on pizza. Ah. Been around it for two years. Shit. <laughs> I'll have some Grimaldi's pizza any day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead now. Everybody, take a second. We're gonna go ahead and check out this track from Tuesday, and this is Coffee, lady single. He has out now. You can find it everywhere on all music platforms. We gonna go ahead and play it off of YouTube. No, I do not. Right to this music and across from me. To- I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll take it early in the morning before I even finish on it. Like my cream, I just want it on it. Top my coffee, I like the way we talk it. Wondering if we will keep to the walkie or leave. And something cold, bitter, and chalky. My head's a little blocky, but for some reason that don't stop me from trying everything to get to that hottie. Feeling. Tell me we just didn't. Or if you could grab the wheel, then just stop reeling. It's a funny feeling when the time that you kill and don't leave the blood spinning, just laughing like we were children. Maybe it's something, and I would never know. Baby, just tell me where I should go. There's no reason I would ever slow living in a Z and it never snow. We'll keep pushing with broken bones. Trust me, lady, it is written in the stone. Anytime that you hit my phone, trust me, baby, it is always on. I'll take it early in the morning before I even finish on it. Like my cream, I just want it on it. So my coffee, I like the way we talk it. I will take it early in the morning before I even finish on it. Like my cream, I just want it on it. So my coffee. 
I like the way we talking. Even if it's a snatch, then a fumble. Quick glance, and you knowing that it's all humble. On the way, dreams always seem to want to come see down to the sweet nothing of lips that they run through. Maybe it's something that will never grow. Honestly, maybe, I don't even know. I say, let's just go with the flow. Let the crowd know. Welcome to the show. Candles on the cake, go ahead and blow. But hey, girl, uh, you don't even know. Give me a chance just to show what it's like when the man don't treat the tiptoe. Looking in your eyes, and I finally see the prize. Never between them thighs, but something that's deep inside. I'm talking about your vibe, simple look, key to life. Now it's time to slide, and you saying you want to ride. Saying you would rather die than live Asking why, what would happen if you and I would try Or should it justify Every single time you staring in the mirror Getting yourself high Tell me if and where to run In your direction I will always come Let's just go and get it done We can mix it all up with a little bit of fun You like my coffee before the sun Green can all my number one We all know that I used to be a bum But girl this hard it just don't shine Tell me if and where to run In what direction I will always come Let's just go and get it done We can mix a dollar with a little bit of fun You like my coffee before the sun Cream and all my number one We all know that I used to be a bum But girl this hard it just don't shine a toxic. So yeah, dude, that was coffee. After making that song, what is the number one underlined? I mean, I basically just wanted to talk about myself a little bit more in the song, mm-hmm. and the fact that, like, you know, like I missed, I miss having that, like, more of like someone else. You know what I mean? Because the you know, song's talking about, you know. I you like my morning coffee, cream and everything. Yeah. Want you in the morning, even before I finish it on it. <laughs> I just want you right there. Like, I, I, I want that. And, I mean, you could definitely tell that I'm trying to go somewhere deeper with myself when I'm actually spitting that song because that song is, like, it's nothing, but nothing but real poetry. Not a lot of, like, ass, money, tits, guns, fame, drugs. You know what I mean? Like, Like, I'm not... That's just not me. That's never been me. I mean, but that's great that you're now, you know, made these changes in your life and now are out here being an authentic artist and being you and congruent to who you are. Like you're saying your next songs are Christian songs. Like and you're saying God really helped to change your life and bring you into where you are now. So I would if if I can say anything, one hundred percent keep. I feel like that. 100% key. I think that, because you're going to resonate with people who are unique in that way. And people need that, like, like more than, more than any. And it's definitely going to resonate with the masses because really right now we're getting a lot of people who are putting on a lot of facades. Exactly. And, and right now, they, you know, we all need to wake up a little and smell the coffee. Hey. <laughs> I like that. There we go, play. Yeah. Yes. No, but this is a, like I I really enjoy being able to make music like this and just put it out there and not have to worry about whether someone likes it or not. Just go put it out there. Yeah. Then you know, throw it in the air. That I'm gonna spit the first time people are ever gonna hear. It. It's gonna be a happy hip hop fest. That's not gonna be Christian or chill or <laughs> laid back. No. And be with the people. It's gonna be a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Darker a Tuesday for sure. Darker a <laughs> Hey, you got to do one last ride, at least. <laughs> God got you sober right now. You, we on earth. Hey, man. Hey. But honestly, real talk, real talk. I think it's good that you can show all the sides of yourself and show people that even if you're an artist, you have to let your act spiritually. That's big. It's a big thing because I think it's not something that you should hide. If that's how you feel, share it put it in your music, um, make songs without it. Because, you know, yeah, we actually, life, where sometimes we're not thinking about that. And, and sometimes yeah. we are. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, do whatever you feel. Keep it going. I, I like everything that I'm hearing, everything that I'm seeing, the projector and 
looks good. Yeah. Looks great. It's going up. I mean, I haven't done any festivals. You know, I want to do a festival. I want to be like a Tuesday. <laughs> you're killing it, my man. That's awesome. Not that hard, brother. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, you, you're doing the thing. And that's awesome. Like, so what do you want other artists out here? Arizona or that are that you feel may be in your same situation. What do you want them to know from your entire experience and all the things that you've gathered so far? If, like the release that we've given you and everything. Is there any one thing that you think on the heart of the artists like yourself? Real quick, before I get to that, there's no high ever, no drug, no feeling that could ever come even close to what it's like. Very first. Uh, that feeling. Yeah. That was the best rush of my life. Because to be able to sit there and go, like, this is something I'm actually doing. Yeah. That was the high of a life. But what I can tell to all artists, if, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. Five years from now, I'm starting making real money and I change up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell everyone, don't change. Stay you and just stick to your path and do what you want to do because you have no. No idea how many cats came to you. Well, why don't you go get a grill? Why don't you do this? Why don't you, you know, put spinners in your car? It's like, what? Like, huh? Like, no. Color your hair. Yeah. And I'm not, no, get a face okay. tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Go buy a fake, really big chain. Yo, yeah, no. that'll do it. No, I'm straight. I'll buy it real on discount, and there's a good special, 80% <laughs> yeah. off. Mm-hmm. We're going to make it happen. Yep. But, yeah, man, that's stay real to yourself. Man, that is awesome. I want to say thank you very much for entreating us with your presence here today. No. Blessing Song Lab. <laughs> <laughs> for real. You came through. You fed us. <laughs> it's a big thing. He, he, came, he didn't just come to the studio like, hey, I want to give my story. He said, I want to also make sure y'all leave full stomachs fed feeling good. So thank you very much for, for blessing us with not only your creativity, but also the food um could i get you again to just shout out all of your social medias how people can connect with you you know let them know it all again it may be redundant but they need to hear it go ahead all righty so it's a tuzi a-t-u-z-i you can go to instagram instagram it's a tuzi official facebook anthony a tuzi harding you go everywhere Deezer, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Radio, wherever you go, A T U Z I. This face pops up. <laughs> if you don't mind, could I go ahead and get you to shout out Song Lab and let people know about your experience so far? Oh man, Song Lab, this is sick, dude. This is this is probably the most professional setup I've ever had to be blessed to be a part of. When I reached out to them and they reached out to me like that, it just shows the professionalism, it shows the character shows that they care about up-and-coming artists. Come here, come talk to them, and come be a part of something great. Thank you, my man. That's blessings. Good Lord, jeez. All right, now I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Well, man. thank you guys for tuning in and watching us talk our mess. You know what? We're going to do it again. We're going to bring more artists. But right now, we're here with a Tuzi. Thank you for coming. Of course. Song Lab. We out. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That- Thank you.